Ah, oh, sorry, I'm not mad at you. I'm just shit. Vilkis, he's been giving me so much grief lately, it's all gotten a bit under me skin is all. Well, I'm not sure how I can do that when I don't have the kind of leverage on him that he's got on me. What am I supposed to do? Give him shite about how tidy his footwork is? <laughs> Aye, you're right. He's too fucking smug for there not to be something he's hiding, eh? I need to discover what it is and then, well... It's long past time that old old hound got a dose of his own medicine, eh? <laughs> I'm getting real tired of Vilkus giving me grief all the time and acting like his shit don't attract flies too. Funny you say that, Fargus. <clears throat> I've been thinking he's been starting to act like a puffed up wanker lately, and it's time we did something about it. Maybe it's time we look into what he's gotten up to when he's off by himself, eh? Fuck yeah. That's the only way we'll find something we can give him shit about for once. <laughs> Sooner or later, we're bound to find someone who knows something useful. Luckily, this is one trail I won't need to be a wolf to sniff out. <laughs> Best not get your hopes up, pups. Or I'm afraid you're going to end up disappointed. Not everyone lives life as impulsively as the two of you. Some of us prefer to think before we act. <laughs> well, well, well. Vilkus, so, as I live and breathe. Hayden, of all the taverns in Tamriel, you come walking into mine. In my Long time no see, <laughs> sugar. It's only By a the bit gods! Of what are you doing here? No, thank you. Huh. I prefer me only you know you look a lot different <sighs> with clothes on. Are you staying here tonight? If so, that's quite a quinky dink because so am I. Let me know if you want to do a repeat of that night, Vilkus. I wouldn't mind that at all. Well, shit. I mean, uh, no. That will not be happening. If you'll excuse me, I think I have somewhere I need to be uh, elsewhere. Oh, hello. Oh, you must mean Vilkus. Yes, I met him a few years ago. <laughs> Bless his heart, judging by his reaction, I'm reasonably sure he'd prefer I'd forgotten him. Unfortunately for that poor, adorably flustered man, given the circumstances around how I made his acquaintance, that is never likely to happen. Well now, I wouldn't be a very good bard if I didn't know how to draw in my audience, would I? I could be persuaded to tell you the story. However, I'd need something from you in return. Now, Sugar, you wouldn't be here talking to me if you didn't think my story might be worth hearing. Talk it over with that tall drink of handsome that's with you, and come see me if you decide you'd like to accept my offer. No, 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 he didn't. To be honest, I think that's the first time I've ever heard him stumble over his fucking words. Let alone to actively avoid a woman. Ah, oh, shit, I'd have given up me orc of money for that. Seeing as it's for such a good cause. Is she taking the fucking piss? Or does she really know something that'd be worth this favour she wants in return? You talk to her. I'll trust your judgement with the lass. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, go find out what she wants us to do. I can't wait to finally have something on that smug wanker the next time he starts giving me a bit of shit. I didn't think you wandered over to enjoy my sparkling personality and devastating charm. So, what's it to be? Do these lips of mine stick to singing the stories known to all, or are you here to do a trade? An act of service in exchange for a very specific and unknown tale? I hope you're feeling feisty then, because I'm in the mood for revenge. I was attacked on the road by a bear, and now I want my pound of flesh, or claws rather, in return. I want five of them to make into a necklace. One claw for each of the damn wounds I was left with after the attack. 
This may come as a surprise, given how sweet and charming I am, but I can be a bit of a bitch. This is especially true when something turns me into an unwilling chew toy and tries to make me their I afternoon miss. snack. Uh, yes. I'll be waiting here. Come back when you have the claws, and you'll get your story. I am reasonably certain I know what this is about. But, go on. What do you wish to discuss? And drink up! Yes, father. Aye, I know the lass. It is not listen? that I was unhappy to see her. Why won't they do as More I like I was not happy to see her. Now, had circumstances been different, Give them an I would have been a mite surprised. And yet, thing. quite if enjoyed people, seeing the lass again. Get a walk out on your hands, then we'll both be in trouble. To put it bluntly, Wolfling, I'm sorry I would have preferred you, father, that you not be present mind. when I happened I'm upon her again. I'm a businessman. The only While I've long admired your curiosity, business. I'd never because expected to become the focus of it. I'll pay you back if it For a moment much. I found myself about the coin. uncertain. About honoring your legacy by picking up arms and keeping While I would not free, use that word, the sooner you uh, remember that, it also would right. not be inaccurate to use. I've not always been as you've known me. There have been times in the past when I made choices without carefully considering the risks. The consequences were humorous on occasion, such as the evening I met the Bard, while on others they were much more complicated and painful. I care about you, Wolfling, and I, I did not wish for you to perhaps be disappointed in, in me. After some thought, I believe it would be good to have the story known, and remind myself that not all consequences are dire. And perhaps I've been too hard on the pups. I've become so focused on protecting them, I'd forgotten to enjoy the moments with them. So, go ahead, Wolfie. Do her tasks and hear her story. Perhaps, some night around the fire, I could be persuaded to tell you a few others. In the meantime, I promise that I will act very surprised when Kaiden decides to make his play with the knowledge. <laughs>